this Swamiji, Vivekananda, he is a Namvat Narendra Dutta, he was very aggressive. Then he changed his name to Vividishanand. Not getting things. Then he changed his name to Vivekananda. And then Vivekananda. You know Vivekananda. So what happened? Because we are reading numerology, this is also important. And this is one of my strong secret tool, very strong secret tool. One secret tool to you know that I use for rectification, that's another tool. This is another tool. There are two, three more tools. Huh? That is Shubhanam we have covered, but okay. This is the basic method of name decoding. This is called Katpayadi, okay? See, Ka means Ka. Ka is a letter. Ta. Pa. Ya. And Adi, etc. So Kata, Paya, etc. is basically what it means. In ancient India, this was much in use. It is used in complete Jaimini Sutras, right? And in ancient India, it was much in use. One of the earliest methods that is used. What is done? Every number is given a particular value. For the English names, it can be a little bit difficult, but I will help you. This is the table. So, ka, ta, pa, ya, adi. So starting from ka in the Hindi numerical order, numbers are given a value. So ka, kha, ga, gha, da, cha, cha, ja, jha, ya. Given value from 1 to 9 and then 0. Then next is ta. So ta, tha, da, da, na, ta, tha, da, dha, na. Then pa, then ya, adi, etc. What is happening? The vowels or a, e, e is not getting any value. If they come in name, you will generally ignore. But on, they are maximum in the name. Then in the case, you will take the value zero. Generally, you should ignore. Because it is, see, the list is cut by Adi. It is not a cut by Adi. Right? So that's the basic point. What you do, you take the name and then you take the basic value. For example, Vivekananda. English method. Hindi it will be written as Vivekananda, right? Va, va, ka, na, da. Half letter you will leave. Half letters are to be left out. So what is the value of wa? 4. 4, 4. The value of ka is 1. The value of na. 0. The value of the is. The. 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 Is 8. V is 4. V is 4. Ka is 1. Na is 0. The is 8. Is the number? Then there is a shloka, angana vamatogati. The numbers are to be counted from vam, reverse order. So you will reverse this equation to make it 80144. 80,144 is the answer. Okay, 80,144 becomes the answer. Now what you will do, you will divide it by 12 to find the Rashi. And 9 to find the planet. And as we always do in astrology, you will take the remainder. 8144 divided by 9, the answer will be 8904. Multiplied by 9 and this should be subtracted to 8144. The resultant planet will be 8. 
resultant planet will be rao then once again 80144 that is to be divided by 12 answer is 6678 multiplied by 12 subtract to 80140 ye kya ho gaya isko yeah sorry the resultant rashi is scorpio okay rashi is also eight planet is also eight the resultant is rahu scorpio okay now you come to the horoscope of swami scorpio and rahu are activated scorpio is the 12th house rahu is no no so this is wrong horoscope this is the correct horoscope that is scorpio is the 11th house rahu is there this rahu is power So first of all, because the Scorpio is the eleventh house, all the wishes and desires of Swami Ji should get fulfilled. So he wanted to go to foreign lands. There he wanted to talk about Hindu religion, which he successfully did. As a boy, he wanted to realize God. That also he successfully did. So whatever Swami Ji wanted, that he successfully did. There was only one problem in Swami Ji's life. That was financial problem. Financial problem. he was wanting to get a job he went to ram krishna to talk about the job that he somehow could not get why he could not get because he gave up the idea he did not want it to whatever vivekananda wanted that he had he wanted to had ram krishna mission he got it met so complete fulfillment of wishes and desires are happening for vivekananda because it is coming in the good house if it was coming into bad house then it will be problem so name should be chosen according secondarily what is happening rahu is getting activated and this rahu is giving result of you know it is expected by saturn so rahu is giving result of saturn saturn is the lagna lord and second house lord and whenever lagna lord is powerful it gives fame so this name has given him fame lot of fame rahu is also significator for fame that you know lagna lord is also significator of fame so it have given him fame anonymous fame vivekananda is a householder name no other spiritualist have been so popular vivekananda is rather a youth icon we generally forget that he was a spiritualist not a youth icon achhi gwara thodi hai vivekananda but okay but what i told you the first name that he chosen was vividishanand and a v v dishanand so wa should have the value 4 so wa wa for d should have value 8 cha This year will have the value of five. Na, this is this na will have the value zero, and this na is half. Last is the, and this the will have value eight. Then you go to Angkana Vamato Gati. You reverse it. Eight zero five eight four four. You divide it by twelve. The answer is coming is Scorpio itself. So Rashi is coming the same, but where is the research? Research I am teaching in your courses number. 
That's the point. The resultant is two moon. How is moon in Scorpio? Babe? This is very bad. Moon in Scorpio is very bad. So you see this Vividisha Anand name was not very successful. He became a sannyasi. The first name he took was Vividisha Anand. His purpose was to ask for help from all the kings of India, then kings of India. Then go on to foreign land to talk about Hindu dharma, which he could not do with the name Vividisha Anand. Which he then changed to Vivekananda. So you see, you only use Rashi, it is the same Scorpio. There is no difference as such, but the planet will make the difference. Moon will make the difference. Moon in Scorpio is not good, is point number one. Secondarily, this moon, though, is going to the ninth house, but is with Lagna Lord and is rather afflicting the Lagna Lord. This is not having a good relationship with Lagna Lord. Your name is coming to Rashi, which is badly situated from the ascendant. Badly situated means situated in 3rd, 6th, 8th, 12th house. 3rd house is okay, okay. 6th, 8th, 12th house is bad. Or it is connected to a planet who is having bad connection with the ascendant Lord or who is a bad planet for the ascendant is very bad for you. This should not happen. Vivi Dishanand is the example. Working example in front of This is how I work with the names. Okay, whenever I have, because see, we are learning Vedic numerology. Oh, now generally, when, whenever you are talk, you talk of numerology, people are like, Are we all, also tell our name? Is there a correction in it? So this, this question you will be asked. According to me, these are separate things. But this question you can be asked, and in, whenever the question is asked, Katapayadi is what you will resort to. Okay. Deco, rectification you still done from the Shatpada table. This is for another purpose. There is two, three more tables. Those are for all another purpose. Okay. So I will I will tell one extra off topic. For example, Germany have written the slok Swasthe Dara. This is how it will be written Swasthe Dara. It means if the Lagna Lord is in Lagna, the Arud goes to, sorry, if the Lagna Lord is in fourth house, the Arud remains in fourth house. How you decide that? So in Germany, whenever Germany returns Dara, you don't understand what does this Dara means. He says you Sarvatra Savarna Bhav Rashi so always use numerical value to know Bhav and Rashi. So Dara, the is having the value eight. Ra is having the value 2, it is reversed. 28, then it is divided by 12. Baradhani Chavis. 12 to 24. The answer will be 4. So that's why Dara means 4. Okay. Understood. So this is how it means. Swasthe. If it is going into the 4th house, the answer is Dara. Dara means 4. So when Lagna Lord goes to fourth house, Arud remains in the fourth house. You know by this shloka, and the shloka should be decoded with Katpaya. Because Germany have told you Sarvatra. Sarvatra means always. Savarna. Varna means number. Hav for the house. And Rashiya for the Rashi. So always number is used to denote Bhava and Rashi. Is what Germany is very clear about. Iske bina Germany karne se karne. But he is okay. This is what Germany is saying. That is okay. But this being used in a predictive text, does it not mean something? It means something. That it can be used to decode names also. And this is not only your name, the name of your life partner. 
the name of the company that you are working in, the name of the company that you will want to open. All of that, according to me, should be decoded by this method and should be changed if there is a problem. The first letter of the name, the first word of the name should be based on the Shatpak Chakra that I told you, you know, Chuche Chola comes into a race. That is for the first letter only. Complete name is also point. Now, no se naam aap, jo hai Narendra Nath Dutta rakho. No se aap naam Nilesh rakho, to pharak to hai na? Aisa thodi ki Narendra Nath Dutta aur Nilesh ek hi cheez hai, alag alag hai. Kaise alag alag? Narendra Nath Dutta and Nilesh both will come into same nakshatra from the first letter. But Rashi will differ. So full name should be seen. Okay. 